Thanks to some diligent members of the Mass Effect community, we may have learned the new name of our Ark ship, or one of the Ark ships, introducing Hyperion. And with a name as legendary as Hyperion, what can it tell us about the story of Mass Effect Andromeda? Hi, this is Rima from Mass Effect Odyssey, and today I'll be looking into the mythos of Hyperion, one of the mighty 12 Greek titans. As I said before, I very much enjoy researching and delving into the world of Greek mythology, and I've done so in videos covering the Odyssey and a while back on the legend of Helios. So what is the tale of Hyperion? Well, as stated before, Hyperion is one of 12 titans born from Gaia, Mother Earth, and Uranus, Father Sky. Hyperion was the god of heavenly light and watchfulness, with his siblings Nemesine, the goddess of memory, Tethys, the goddess of fresh water, Thea, the goddess of divinity, Phoebe, the goddess of intellect and the moon, Rhea, the goddess of mountains and fertility, Themis, the goddess of law, Oceanus, the god of sea and the rivers, Coseus, the god of intellect, Cronus, the god of time, Creus, the god of constellations, and Epitus, the god of mortality, and excuse any of my mispronunciations of these names. Led by his brother Cronus, he and his siblings overthrew Uranus to eventually become the original Olympians. Hyperion, though a prominent titan, isn't mentioned greatly in Greek legends, with him normally being included with his 12 siblings by scholars such as, quote, Of Hyperion we are told that he was the first to understand, by diligent attention and observation, the movement of both the sun and the moon and the other stars, and the seasons as well, and that they were caused by these bodies, and to make up these facts known to others, and that this is the reason he was called the father of these bodies, since he has begotten, so to speak, the speculation about them and their nature, end quote. Hyperion later fathered three children, Helios, which links into another aspect of Mass Effect Andromeda's story, the Helios Cluster, Selene and Eos, which were respectively known as the Sun, the Moon and the Dawn. Along with Coseus, Creus and Ipetus, Hyperion formed one of the four great pillars that kept the heavens and the earth apart. However, the Titans were eventually overthrown by Zeus and the other Olympian gods and banished to Tartarus. Another interesting reference to Hyperion is Hyperion Cantos, a sci-fi novel series by Dan Simmons which includes the novels Hyperion and The Fall of Hyperion. The general tale of the Hyperion series focuses on the interchanging stories of seven travellers on a pilgrimage sent to the planet of Hyperion to find the Shrike, a quote, menacing half-mechanical, half-organic four-armed creature that is believed to be able to control time. The seven pilgrims include the soldier, a man from small beginnings who is part of the military faction, Force. The priest, a devout member of the religious cult that tasks the pilgrims to find the Shrike in the first place. The poet, a gifted, well-educated and trebled artist who during the course of the journey ends up being heavily injured and is nearly unable to communicate due to a cryogenic related accident. The captain, a Templar and the captain of the ship that transports the pilgrims to Hyperion. The scholar, a professor whose main purpose is to try and find a cure for his daughter's reverse aging syndrome. The detective, a PI who's travelled to Hyperion on a murder case. And the consul, the former governor of the planet of Hyperion. Hyperion is also the name of one of Saturn's 62 moons. Hyperion isn't the only moon named after a titan, with Tethys, Rhea, Phoebe and Epitus also being honoured. Hyperion is also the largest irregular shaped moon the Saturn has. So what does the name Hyperion tell us about Mass Effect Andromeda? Hyperion the Titan was a watchful and observant god, and maybe this is the role the Ark or the Arcs may have, being a sanctuary for our expedition. In regards to Greek mythology, does the fact that there are 12 Titans mean we'll also have 12 Arcs? In regards to the Dan Simmons Hyperion Cantos series, it's very possible that Bioware are paying homage to the sci-fi classic. The characters of the story are on a pilgrimage to search for an ancient, powerful force utilising ships and cryostasis, which sounds somewhat similar. But also the series has seven interesting character archetypes. Maybe we'll see something similar in Mass Effect Andromeda. So what do you think about the name Hyperion for our arc ship? 
and do you think any of these references will have an effect on the plot of Mass Effect Andromeda? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and as always, we look forward to seeing you next time.